following is a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, a standard of CAW. second to think about it. And yes, she does. She has agreed to it. Revy and Akami is set for round zero as if that mega event couldn't get any bigger. What a start here tonight on ACW Excel here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. If that is to tell you what's going to happen for the remainder of tonight, then we better strap up and be a part of this roller coaster ride. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hakeem Johnson, a the commentator, as always. And it is the poem show of Ground Zero here tonight. But here yeah, on Excel 104, our main event, talk to me of Night Raid. Speaking of Night Raid, who will take on Trunks as Trunks, who will prepare himself for the Excel World Title match with Joe Dodge at Ground Zero. Also tonight, Aang, I will be speaking with Aang in a split screen interview. He allotted the time, he wanted the time to speak about his recent actions, and I will be able to give him that time to say what he wants to address here tonight. Also, the debut of the Venus of Submission tells Shiri Minami as she will go one-on-one -on -one against Sony, who is also debuting here tonight, Rindal Kobayashi. That is happening here tonight in Glamour X action. And then we've also got six-man tag team warfare, the Nintendo Civil War, Las Vegas Link, Shulk, and Roy will team up to take on Fox, Falcon, and Lucas. But we will kick things off here with a title matchup for the Intermediate Championship, Night Rage Blue Block. The Intermediate Champion will take on the Immortal, Saiki Sugimoto. Woo, this is going to be a fun night tonight to play that. Are you hot, ladies and gentlemen? Because if that brawl didn't kick off and get you woken up for some action and suspense tonight, I don't know what the hell will. As you can see here, the immortal, Saiki Shikimoto, the challenger, walks himself down in the ring as he took part of the Intermediate Championship Tournament that Lubok obviously won to become champion, but he was in the semifinals where he took on Ichigo Kurosaki. He would lose to Ichigo, but he showed a lot of great resilience in that match. And he will get another chance at Intermediate Gold against Lubak. Mood has changed, everybody. There he is, a man that holds two gold titles within his grasp. He is the current XL Tag Team Champions with his partner Wave. And he is also the inaugural Intermediate Champion. Speaking of double champions, Wade himself, his partner, is also the television champion. Night Raid are on a roll, a bigger roll than I ever thought they could ever get to. They just keep winning. They just keep dominating. And I keep asking the question, what is it going to take to stop this faction? Crowd here in Bridgeport, not a fan of Lubach. But I don't think Lubach gives a damn what this crowd thinks of him. He holds the gold. He's a sponsor with the Paradigm Foundation. He's part of the dominant faction here in ACW and CAW. I gotta tell you, Night Rain, they're on a roll. Crowd settling in here as we get set for our first match of the night. It is for the Intermediate Championship here at the Webster Bank Arena. As everybody knows, there are restrictions to that title. Saichi is hyped up. Lubak will be having his first title defense here since winning the title at ACW Fusion against Ichiro Kurosaki, who we have not seen since that mega event. And there's the beautiful title that was announced at the very first episode of this season. Will Lubak hold that title tonight? Or will it be a short title reign for Lubak? We get settled in here, the bell is rung. And here we go. Saichi is not going to be intimidated by Lubak whatsoever. And here we go, call tie lock up and side headlock. No, Lubak able to push Saichi to the ropes here. Pushes off. Saichi pushing Lubak down using the raw power and strength, having the advantage over the champion. Now Lubak, he is the current inaugural champion. He has to defend that title successfully three times in order for him to contend for the XL World title. 
And side two, that nice DDT point blank. Cut one for the cover, but Lubon had his foot under the ropes to call for a break. And side two, in the early stages of this matchup, dominating the champion. He is the immortal. And he doesn't have to wear red and yellow to be called that, because that's what he is. Look up his history. And Saichi stopping down Lubok. Going for another pin attempt here. Cover one, two. That was a little bit too close. Almost got Lubok there. Toggle almost ended right then and there. Oh! Drops the elbow right on top of the head of Lubok. And Saichi so far is doing a good job keeping Lubok grounded. Saichi has Lubok up, drops him down with a powerful power slam. Ironic, I know, but it was effective. And Lubok now using the ropes just to get back to his feet here. And Saichi closed on Lubok over the top, and down goes the intermediate champion. Take a look at the offense so far from Saichi Shikimoto. Nice British Bulldog style power slam, follows it up with a clothesline of power over the top ropes to Lubok to the outside. We're back live and Saichi now being wise to send Lubok back into the ring. Saichi now Irish with Lubok towards the ropes. Big boot there! And Lubok's tower ring is in jeopardy here. Cover, there's one, there's two, one more, and no! Remember, former world champions and even current world champions cannot contend for the intermediate championship. This is the title for those that are looking for our stepping stone here on Excel as Zubak now comes back with some elbows and falls it up with a nice bulldog. And that might have been what Lubak needed to drive Saichi to the ground. Do not count out Lubak. Lubak is very conniving. He is very precise in the way he attacks his opponents. We talk about the leadership of Tatsu. We talk about the power of Wade. But I think with Lubak, he's so unorthodoxic with his moveset, with his attitude, with the way he conducts himself, that people like to underrate him. They like to sleep on someone like Lubak until Lubak eventually wins. That's why he is the inaugural intermediate champion. As you can see, he continues to ground Saichi with his maneuvers keeping the immortal down. Saichi trying to escape this chin lock here. Lubak has it grounded. Lubak not wanting to disappoint Night Raid in the Paradigm Foundation that backed him and sponsored him to this moment here. As Saichi tries to fight it off, big right there, big left, and those punches are gonna hurt. Doesn't matter who you are. Here we go, whip there to the ropes there by Saichi. Bounces into Lubak. Lubak takes advantage. Big jab. Saichi, Irish switch Lubak, pours the ropes here, has him up, over the shoulder. No, Lubak able to counter it. Oh, trips him with a nice shoot. Takedown, falls up with a couple of ground punches. Nice retro Roman takedown there by Lubok, using his speed and technique to keep Saichi guessing from the top. Nice missile drop kick, and down goes Shigimoto. Cover, one, two. And Saichi barely getting the shoulder up before three. Take a look at Lubok's comeback, if you will, in this match. Was up there, nice drop kick, dropping Saichi down on the ring. And this intermediate title match continues here on XL 104. Still to come to Shiminami. Will be debuting in her in ring debut tonight, taking on Rindal Kobayashi. We got the six man Nintendo Civil Warfare match between Las Vegas Link, Shulk and Roy taking on Fox for Cloud, Falcon Lombardi, and Lucas. And oh my god! Picked him up and dropped him down! And then you got our main event, Trunks going one-on-one -on -one against Tatsumi. As ordered by Mr. Smith earlier tonight, throughout our social media, as Lubok face first gets dropped on the turnbuckle pad. And this may be the opening that Saiki was looking for to get back in the game. Big left. Saichi with an Irish whip. Lubak in the corner. Lubak able to move out the way there. Kick to the midsection by Saichi. Lubak counters the whip. Saichi hangs on from the outside. Up from the apron. 
sunset flip. Shoulders are down. Ref's gonna get down there. One. There's two. And Lubach able to escape before three. Job breaker. Lubach trying to think quick on his feet. And now Lubach out of Nope. Falls in with it with a knee strike. Two knee strikes. And we'll nicely put an exclamation point with that Russian light sweep from the middle rope. Overhead sent on. And it might be time for Lubach to put some strings onto Saichi here. Wait, wait a minute. Saichi with the power pushes Lubach down like a bully. And Saichi spins him around for a sidewalk slam. There's one, two, and Saichi only getting a two. Lubach somehow finding a way to kick out before three. As you take a look at this powerful sidewalk slam, the likes that Kevin Nash will be salty about on the internet. And Saichi didn't have to hurt himself to do it. A miracle, but it only got him a two. Yes, I'm petty like that. Don't judge me here. But we are back live and Saichi is on the offense here. He's looking for his patented maneuver, the White Sash Brigade. If he can just hit that maneuver, he might become the new intermediate champion tonight. Snap there by Lubach. Saichi strikes him on the kidney. Has him on the corner. From the top. Oh, oh, wait a minute, cross arm bar over the top rope. Gonna pop Lubach's socket off his arm. The referee's gonna break this up. He's been a little bit leaning here in this title matchup. Kick there by Saichi. Saichi climbing to the top. Oh, and Lubach with desperation groins him on the top turnbuckle. That was a desperation move, but Lubach had to do it. He saw that his title reign was slipping away from him in a battle of mere moments. And now Lubach hooking the right leg here. Fisherman suplex, a nice perfect flex, but Saichi luckily having his feet under the ropes saved him in this match. And Lubach complaining to the referee, but he needs to stay focused on Shukimoto, but he did not. He let Saichi get ahead of himself here. Has the arm, Lubach able to roll out of it. Dropped to a hole by the champion. Oh, got hooked up from behind, no! Strings attached. Hooks the leg, cover. One, two. Oh, no! Saichi got the shoulder up. He's alive! But Saichi is bleeding from that no strength attached. The end could be near anyways. He's gonna go for it again, Saichi. He saw it, he felt it coming. The man is immortal. He will fight until he can fight no more. The man is a machine. Look at the maneuver, look at the striking. Oh, and Luba just cuts him off like that. That's how conniving Luba truly is. He finds an opening and takes advantage of it. Luba now measuring up Saichi. What's he gonna go for here? So Saichi backbreaker drops him with a neck breaker. Finishes off. What an immediate title match we're witnessing here on Excel. Oh wait, Saichi has him up. White Sash Brigade, the cover, the two, we got a new job, oh my god! Lubach escaped somehow, someway. We take a look at the instant replay of the back and forth in this contest. As Lubach was able to hook the no string attached and cause Sanchez to bleed, but that would only make him fight stronger and harder. And now, the White Sash Brigade, but somehow, Luba escaped, denying Saichi the intermediate title. We are back live, and Saichi continues to fight with the fury of clotheslines from the ropes. Clotheslines him down! Saichi can feel it! But Luba on arm drag. 
psyche, bloody, beaten, battered, will continue to fight because he's immortal. Psyche pushing the ball down here. Misses the aim, the double action. Oh! Oh, no string attached for a second time. And Psyche didn't see it coming. One, two, and it is it. Psyche was close. He was so close to winning that title. But one mistake like right here caused Lubok to think ahead and nail another, no strings attached. And that was all he wrote. Now maybe I'm able to escape from the first one, but you definitely will not with a second, no strings attached. Lubok is successful in his first intermediate title defense here tonight. And he's got two more to go if he wants to contend and fight for an automatic XL world title shot. But things are looking good for the Night Raid member Lubok here tonight as he's leaking a little bit here. Wait a minute, Edward! Edward Elric! Oh my god! Edward Elric going after Lubok! He was ambushed! Last episode of Excel with a chair! Out to be on the chair! Down goes the champ! Here comes Mr. Smith! Wave is running right in front of him! Edward Elric has made his statement! He will go after those that he feels has wronged him! Elric is alive! And he will take no prisoners! Whether that's Zubok! Whether that's Wave, or whether that is Mr. Smith. Folks, welcome back to Excel number 104. Things became absolutely crazy before the commercial break. Lubok had just retained his intermediate championship in a match against Saiji Shikimoto. Edward Elric would come afterwards and come after the champion Lubok, taking him out and wiping him out for revenge. And what happened to him last episode of Excel being ambushed, as you saw Wade running after Edward Elric, Mr. Smith from the stage watching all of this go down. I can tell you this, Edward Elric is looking for a fight.
Well, that certainly wasn't intense and awkward. But Tatsumi was given the message. And it will be up to him later on tonight to do what Joe Agashi wants him to do. In the main event tonight, he will take on Trunks. Will Tatsumi be able to weaken Trunks before Ground Zero, where Trunks will have to face Joe for the XL World Championship? That is our main event here tonight. Also tonight, I will be having a split-screen interview with the Avatar Aang. Aang will look to speak about his recent actions and his explanations as to why he's doing what he is doing. That will be also later on tonight. Also, the six-man Nintendo Civil Warfare match, Las Vegas Link, Roy and Shulk will be a team taking on Fox, Falcon and Lucas. Something is going to have to give here tonight on Excel 104. But coming up next, we will witness the debut of the Venus of Submission, Toshiro Minami, as she will take on a debuting Rindao Kobayashi. I have been looking forward to this matchup. There she is, making her in-ring debut here tonight on Excel, Rindal Kobayashi. One of the elite 10 members in the culinary arts of Japan. Graduated high in her class, number one as a matter of fact. She's taking the lead of culinary chef to pro wrestle here tonight in the likings of one Soma Yukihara from Impulse. I don't know if some would say Rindal is better than Soma, even though she was a part of the Elite 10, which is the 10 greatest chefs that were produced in Japan to be all around the world. That is the type of pedigree she holds. But as you know, this is virtual wrestling. This is CAW. All those things do not translate to immediate success. You will have to work hard for what you want. As we await for the debut of Toshimi Minami. And I'm not the only one. As this crowd here is ready for a fight, and here we go. And Rendell walking towards Toshimi. Oh, what a go! What a backhand! What a backhand! Toshimi said, I ain't here to play games. God, Jesus, what a roaring elbow! And Rendell is fighting out very quickly. Toshimi is here to fight. For those that are familiar with Toshimi, Within the ACW fandom, as Toshimi nails that nice Japanese arm drag, drop hits the leg. Toshimi 
competed in the 2018 Glamour X Element Tournament and made it all the way to the semifinals before being defeated by the current Element Champion, Yoko Littner. It was only then that Toshimi was signed to ACW during the offseason, and you're seeing why that is the case with these knife-edge machine gun chops to rend down. Oh, oh, what a jam! And Azura drops her on her head with that back souffle. This could be an early night for Rindo. There's a cover. The shoulders are down. And Rindo gets her shoulder up before three. Take a look at Toshimi so far. This is what started it all. A backhand that echoed all around the arena. And there was a Japanese arm drag falling up with a nice drop kick towards the knee. And then after these machine gun knife edge chops from the corner, Toshimi would say, screw it. I am the finish submission. I'll just drop you with a back suplex. We are back laughing. I don't think Rindow has gotten any offense towards Toshimi since this match started. And hip attack, no. Rindow able to move out the way. Rindow with a roll up from behind. Toshimi shoulders down. Not even a one. Oh, what a four. And Rindow's going to think quick. Cannot waste any time, and that's exactly what she is doing. Cover this one and only a one count. Rindo's gonna stick on Toshimi. You cannot let someone like Toshimi get into second gear. Oh my god, what a clothesline! Metaphorically almost taking out Toshimi's head from her shoulders. Now Rindo looking to make up for lost ground here. Clothesline takes down Toshimi. Going for another pin time. No, Toshimi quickly able to escape. But Rindo from the middle rope here. Gonna go for an aerial assault here. Does not pay off. Landed on a gluteus maximus. Oh, and there's the hip attack. Toshimi was looking for. I tell you what, Toshimi is just a bad woman, man. As Toshimi. Scoop slam that arm being tucked from behind. So Shimi Nami has wrestled all around the world within multiple countries, around multiple companies. Oh my god! What a half Nelson suplex! I mean, how much can Rindow take from Toshimi here? Oh my god! It's been like 90-10 with Toshimi winning in all aspects of everything as Rindow escaping another suplex attempt. Rindow now rolling Toshimi up. Another pin attempt. One, two, and does not get the three. Rindow from the ropes here. Toshimi got the way. Oh my god! What a clothesline! I am very impressed with Toshimi so far but i gotta give credit to rindow rindow is trying her best oh my god as soon as i say that toshimi said hakim shut the hell up all right duly noted jeez toshimi going right after that right arm of rindow setting up for that patented Cezanne arm lock that made so many people tap during the elbow tournament and look at toshimi's eyes Big forearm. Another one. How about another one to the back? Pushes right out to the corner. Oh my god. German suplex. My god. Is this illegal to witness an execution? I thought this was an exhibition. My god. Kick. Right now blocked it. Elbow to the leg. Going for something. Nobody home. Toshimi, oh, Cezanne Armlock, Cezanne Armlock, she's got it locked in, and Brindow is tapping, she is tapping for her life. And just like that, Toshimi makes her debut appearance a victorious one here tonight on Excel 104. She locked in that Cezanne Armlock, and Brindow had nowhere to go unless she wanted a broken arm for her efforts.
I tell you what, the Glam X division on itself continues to build more and more. And Toshimi already climbing herself a nice spot here on itself tonight. Rango and Jory will fight for the title at Ground Zero, but people like Toshimi are not far behind of challenging for that title. Crowd here in Bridgeport loving every minute of what they. Well, wait a wait a second. But wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's the giant of the glamours. The sin of envy. Deanne interrupted Toshimi's celebration. I know Deanne had some objections of Toshimi arriving last episode of Excel, but it seems like we're going to have a personal face-to-face -face encounter. Oh, wow. Not impressed, huh? That is true. Oh, wow. Holy, are you, wow. That is official. Look, I know Toshimi has the potential to be great. But come Excel 105, she's going to have to face something even greater. And Deanne will be no pushover like Ren down here tonight. I can guarantee you that. That is said, Toshimi versus Deanne at XL 105 next episode. That is huge. Wow. Well, we have more still to come, but right now I am being joined from backstage for the split screen interview with the Avatar, former Excel World Champion, Aang himself. And Aang, thank you for joining us for the split screen interview here tonight. And I will go ahead and ask you some questions in just a moment, but I do want to refer to you to the last episode of Excel 103, it was the main event, Edward Elric going one-on-one -on -one against Wave in, in a matchup for the main event of Excel 103, obviously. And then as Wave was trying to go for something and use a weapon of his choice, you came out and you were able to snatch that weapon away from Wave. And I think a lot of people, including Wave himself, were confused as to what involvement you had being a part of that whole matchup and Wade would go on to lose to Edward Elric at the end. So what I do want to ask you tonight, and you can take as much time as you would like, but what was your real intention as to why you interfered in that match? And more importantly, why were you going after Wave in particular? That's a fair point, no need to discredit you on your intentions there, but I do want to address to you that there are rumors that Wave wants you in a match as soon as Ground Zero. Now, if that rumor is to be true, are you willing to accept the match with Wave come Ground Zero in a matter of days?
and you would have the experience to know the inner workings of the Paradigm Foundation. I don't deny that. Um, I do want to ask something as our final question here, and maybe you might know something, because I've been asking this. I asked this a trunks last episode. So maybe you might know a little thing, but do you have any idea or any implication as to who this overseer could be that's coming to excel? Well said. Well, Ng, as always, thank you for taking time to speak with me here tonight on Excel 104, and good luck to you at Ground Zero against Wave. Oh, oh my God. Edward! Edward Elric once again! Going after another Night Raid member! Wade was trying to go after Elric a few minutes ago here on Excel, and now Elric has caught him on his lonesome. Elric is a man on a mission to go after those that he felt wronged in last episode of Excel. Oh no! Oh my god! Alchemy off the chair once again, just like he did to Lubok earlier tonight. Edward Elric is going after everyone tonight, and I feel bad for all those that he considers targets. Edward Elric doesn't trust anybody. He's tired of people overlooking him, and I don't blame him in a way. But what else can transpire? Because later on tonight, our main event, Tatsumi, will go one-on-one -on -one against Trunks. Tatsumi has been given specific orders by XO World Champion Joe Agashi to weaken Trunks before Ground Zero. Also, coming up next, however, it is our six-man tag team warfare as the brand of Nintendo is on the line. Team Starbox and Lucas take on Las Vegas Sling, Shulk and Roy, right now. A civil war has been impending since the start of this season between the characters of the Nintendo Dynasty. And tonight it will look to be settled here in this six-man warfare. As the legend, former UWO and no DQ world champion, Las Vegas Link will lead the charge to take on the opposition that is looking to solely his name and the Nintendo brand as Bridgeport, Connecticut is Link Country tonight. That entrance gets me every time, but fitting for a CDW legend like Las Vegas Link. But it's not about the legacy. It's about the history. He claimed that it would be the season of the Monado. As Shulk, one of Link's partners, runs down in the ring as he knows that he will be in a war alongside Link and Roy tonight. Shulk looking to get his foot back into first gear after losing to Roy in the season premiere of Excel. And speaking of which, Roy is definitely their boy here at the Webster Bank Arena. 
What a dream team that we're going to witness here tonight. Wait a minute. Well, wait, wait a minute. Where the hell's Roy? What the hell are Fox, Falcon, and Lucas doing out here? I don't like this. This is not good. At all. Fox getting at. The hell does that liar think he's going at for? Oh, for goodness sake! For goodness sake, Roy's been ambushed backstage! Oh, I wonder who's behind this! I, I wonder who could have done this! Bunch of bullcrap! Team. They had a wig in them. Cause they're weak. Sons of bitches. How is this fair? How in the hell is wait what? Wait, wait, what? What the hell did I just see? Welcome back, and this crowd here in Bridgeport are still reeling. Quite frankly, I'm still reeling for what just happened before the commercial break. We were supposed to have a six-man match, and Shulk shocking the entire arena here. Backstabs Link from behind after Roy was ambushed by Team Star Fox and Lucas backstage. And after delivering that Monado, Shulk had made his intentions clear. He no longer fights with Link. And I, I still cannot believe it. I'm, I'm at a loss for words here. I, 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 I don't know what this means, and I don't know what this is going to mean move for, moving forward, but I, I, I will try to move the show forward if we have to, but... Wow. Um, still to come in our main event, Johnson will take on Trunks. As Trunks will look to get some 
momentum stemming for Ground Zero in his world title match against Joe Agashi in a matter of days. But before we get to that main event, we'll take you back. Texel 103, Jury Sonata defeating Revy to win the number one contendership to face Reiko at Ground Zero for the Glamrex title. But after that matchup, after Jury won against Revy, Reiko would assault and attack Jury from behind as a way to weaken her and send the message that the title is going nowhere come Ground Zero. We're going to take it backstage as we will await the Glamrex champion. And there's a statement from Reiko. One way or another, this story rivalry that defined a division will come to its conclusion at Ground Zero for the Glamrex Champion set. Speaking of Ground Zero, we're going to run down the official card and the stands right now. But before we do, special thanks to the band of Mice and Men for their song, If We Were Ghosts, the official theme song for Ground Zero coming up in a matter of days. Available now on iTunes, Amazon Music, Spotify, and other digital retail stores. Folks, we've got a lot of mess that will confirm here tonight. One of them were a college park street fight. Akami will go one-on-one -on -one against Revy. These two ladies brawl at the very start of the show tonight, and they will have all the time and energy in the world to do what they have to do at Ground Zero in that college park street fight. Will Revy be able to get some sort of revenge come Ground Zero, or will the Red Eye Assassin do a favor for General Ezef and put Miss Two Hands in her quote-unquote place. Also confirmed tonight for the Telvin Championship, Wei will defend the title against the Avatar Aang. You heard Anger earlier tonight in our interview. Aang is looking to dismantle the Paradise Foundation. He feels that they are what is bad for this industry. But Wei being a sponsor and a champion for them will look to stop Aang in every way possible. Wei and Aang, they have a history, but will Aang be successful and will he be able to become champion again or will the big dog continue his momentum? Another title match coming up at Ground Zero. 
Renko, two-time Clemens champion who defended against the former champion, Joey Sonata, as I just stated a couple of seconds ago. This rivalry that has defined the vision, this rivalry that has made women's wrestling in CAW the standard bearer all around the world will come to its conclusion as Renko will look to put her past behind and defeat Joey one more time to retain the title. Or will Joey regain the title back and become herself a two-time Clemens champion? And then, the match, a dream match for a lot of people. It is MVP versus Icon, it is Edward Elwood versus Go On. This will be Go On's first match since coming back this season in a singles one-on-one -on -one encounter against Edward Elwood. The last time these two men fought was in 2008. That would be a miracle, 14 years ago. And they will battle on grounds that will determine who truly is the best in the world. And then finally, for the XL World Championship, champion Joe Agashi will go one-on-one -on -one defending against the hero Trunks. Trunks was given this title shot by an overwhelming majority from the ACW Board of Directors, overriding Mr. Smith and Joe Agashi. Trunks will get his opportunity, but will he be successful and become world champion in ACW again? Or will the king of blue thigh, Joe Agashi, retain his title and continue to be the standard bearer for Paradigm and ACW? Ladies and gentlemen, it is Ground Zero coming to you, not in July, but this is coming off this in a matter of days, live on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed to our HW Make event, as it will be a big event, our first event for Accept. I mean, you couldn't let me just finish on a high note, you just gotta interrupt me, because ah, you're hot king, you know? So, story of my life, story of my life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. For our main event of the evening. And Tatsumi has his marching orders. As per requested by Joe Agashi, he has to weaken Trunks here tonight. But I think even if Trunks doesn't know that, Trunks has been around ACW for years, okay? He's aware of how things work in ACW and CAW. I think he's well aware the intentions this match will have facing Tatsumi. And he will be prepared on what he has to do. But Tatsumi, he is the leader of Nairai for a reason. His leadership and his charisma have been able to rally the Nairai members to be successful. The future, a former Impulse World Champion that many people would still call one of the greatest Impulse World Champions of all time. Trunks making his return to ACW. Last time we saw him was at Animania 5 last season when he was destroyed by the likes of Goten and Broly. That draft to excel during the offseason and now he is back to fight Joe Agashi at his Excel World Championship. This will be Trunks' first ever Excel match here tonight as well. One on one against Tatsumi. Tatsumi rushes into Trunks. Oh, what a forearm! Ballas Rogan, here we go! Our main event here tonight at ACW Excel 104, the go home show before Ground Zero. And Trunks is laying down. Those punches in thick on Tatsumi. Tatsumi's got to ask himself, do I do what I was told by Joe Agashi, or do I simply want to win against a former world champion? Oh! Because let's address the elephant in the room, if you will. Let's really be honest here. Akami really doesn't count the situation because she just came by. We're talking about the original trio. We're talking about the trio of Night Raid here. Tatsumi Wave and Luba. Luba, Intermediate Champion, Excel Tag Team Champion. Wave, Television Champion and Excel Tag Team Champion. Tatsumi, uh, uh, uh. And that's the point. Oh, it's Tatsumi getting clubbed by Trunks here. Oh, what a clothesline. 
Tatsuri has not been able to see any championship success for himself. And people like even General Ezdeth have addressed that to Tatsumi. Oh, what a snap DDT by Trunks. There's the cover. One, two, kick out. And what Tatsumi has to ask himself at this point, is he still the golden boy or has he just truly become a whipping boy? As Trunks continues to lay the elbows on top of Tatsumi. I mean, Tatsumi, I don't know, does he like taking orders from the likes of Joe Agashi, let alone General Azdef? I don't think so. You gotta remember, Tatsumi was a part of that Fiddle Four match at Fusion for the XL World title as he just clotheslined Trunks out of the ring. Joe Agashi defeated him, Gohan and Edward Earl at the same time, at the same match to retain that title. And I gotta wonder, that's burning Tatsumi alive. He wants to be XO World Champion. He wants to be the standard bearer. He wants to be the premier athlete of the Paradigm Foundation. As Tatsumi from the top rope, drop kicks, top trucks, down to the ground. Here's the cover. There's one, two, and Trunks able to kick out with all his power. So take a look at this springboard drop kick from the top. To perfection, takes down Trunks. Back live, and there's a chin lock here by Tatsumi. You know, Tatsumi's trying to prove to a lot of people that are backing him, that are believing in him, that he is going to be the golden standard of ACW when his time comes. But, I mean, when is that time going to come for Tatsumi? You know, at some point, you might be the leader of Night Raid, but if you don't have anything to show for it, when does that stop being about listening and not respecting you? Why should I respect you if you haven't done what I've done? If you haven't won what I've won? If you haven't accomplished what I've accomplished? I think it's a valid question. It's taught to me with that nice German suit. I mean, sorry, Russian leg sweep. Got my European lingo wrong there, but nonetheless, Trunks is in a bit of a bind here. Oh, taught to me. Oh my god! Reverse STO onto the corner. There's two! And that was almost set for Trunks. And I don't blame Trunks. A devastating move there by Tatsumi. Well, this match rolls on as Tatsumi is trying to weaken the challenger going in to the Excel World Championship match at Ground Zero. And I'm sure Joe Agashi is watching this backstage knowing what the score is here tonight. Tatsumi from the top turnbuckle awaiting Trunks. From the top, nobody home. Ass first on the mat. Got a good way to live life. And Trunks with a monkey flip. Tatsumi's legs hitting the bottom ropes there. But I believe Trunks is starting to come back here. And he's going to need to do so. Tatsumi getting himself up in the corner. Trunks. Big corner close on. And down goes Tatsumi. I don't care who you are. That's going to drop you like a ton of bricks. Tatsumi slow to his feet. Trunks is awaiting. Oh my lord. Has him up. Drops him down like he's nothing. That is why he's a former world champion, folks. Get to the midsection. Oh, here we go. Trunks has him up for a power bomb. And Tatsumi rolls forward. Counters it. Shoulders are down. There's a the cover. There's two. Oh, and a bit close there for Tatsumi. Tatsumi still staying on Trunks. Oh, a tornado DDT! Point blank on the head! Wow! Take a look at this once again. Look at this tornado DDT. And the way just flowed effortlessly to hit it. Tatsumi's a great athlete, and no one denies that. Back live here, and Tatsumi continues to work over Trunks. Oh my god! Catapults him underneath the bottom rope. Tatsumi scouting for something here. Kick to the midsection. Trunks got him. Not looking good. Turns him around. Has him up. T driver. He's got him over his shoulder. And Tatsumi. Tatsumi able to counter the T driver. Shoulders are down. There's one. Can that be enough? And it is not enough. 
Tatsui starting to get a little bit irritated that he cannot put away Trunks. Probably feels the fact that this will not be good standing for him with Night Ring and the Paradigm Foundation. Missed the clothesline and Trunks with a leaping clothesline. That's why you don't let your guard down with someone like Trunks. That man is goes away to get back into the game as we take a look at this T-Driver attempt, but Tatsumi able to counter with that inverted DDT. But as Tatsumi was trying to go for something, he missed the clothesline, and Trunks nailing that leaping clothesline of his own. This match continues here, and Trunks misses the shoulder tackle. And oh, look at this, another, another reverse STO, Trunks wise, to roll out of the ring to catch some breath. But it talks to me. Over the top! Oh my god! Tope God Hilo! By Tatsumi! A risky maneuver, but it was effective! I don't know, can Tatsumi be able to pull this off if he's able to defeat Trunks here tonight before Trunks title match at Ground Zero? You gotta wonder that what that'll do for Tatsumi's stock. Oh, Trunks able to push Tatsumi. And oh man. Oh, he's got it locked in. T driver. And that'll do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Lord Joe Agassi with the KO punch. And that'll do it for this match. Joe Agassi knew that Trunks was going to end Tatsumi and came in like a snake to go after his challenger at Ground Zero. And look at this. Look at this. That's our world champion! That is our XO world champion! A coward that can't fight someone face to face! And now Tatsumi's got the hammer in his hand here! Oh, come on! This is bullcrap! And Mr. Spring is just gonna allow this! That's what we're doing here! Trunks now battered and bloody here! Oh man, here he comes! For our third time tonight, Joe Agashi hightailing out of here. Bang! Chair stops for Tatsumi. And the champion is running. He knows Edward Elric means business. A bloody trunks to his feet. Elric just wiped out trunks. He just wiped out the referee. Elric is on a mission. On his lonesome. Folks, we are running out of time here. And now Elric's got the microphone. But we have no more time left, to, come on! That is a bold ass claim. Jeff, I know we're running out of time. Just stay on this for a minute. Stay on this. Poking the bear here. 
and ask and you shall receive. We might not make it to Maryland here, folks. The whole damn world's about to go down and there's Gohan, the icon, the MVP. Oh my God, shit's about to get real. We may not make it to Ground Zero, ladies and gentlemen. Can you feel the energy here in Bridgeport? Go on a stare in a hole to Elric. Elric wants Gohan's ass in the ring. He's gonna get it. Gohan's running down the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have complete red out time. Here we go. Elric, stop it. I'm not on Gohan. Gohan fighting back. Ladies and gentlemen, We'll see you at Ground Zero, Mr. Smith on the stage.